What we're going to do now is take this reference example a little bit further. You remember that we have a red particle and a green particle, and we've got a reference from green to red. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a blue particle and reference from blue to green. And then we're going to actually use a get ref to look up this from and to in terms of green. So let's go ahead and get back here. We're going to do a few little housekeeping. We're going to take out this, cle uh, this clear ref. We're going to come into the set ref and remove that age threshold. And we're going to come into the born. We're going to enable this third shooter, which is going to start giving birth to blue particles over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this set ref and put him up there. Now you remember this first set ref, this is the original green to red, creating a reference from green to red. So we're going to go ahead and rename this green to red. And then this next one, we're going to set up a reference from blue to green. Remember, blue from blue to green. And so we're going to go ahead and rename this blue to green green, double check that, blue to green, okay. Now this one use ref here, this is in terms of the green, and this is saying, okay, I want to attach the green to who he's referencing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have to duplicate this, so we'll just come back up here to this top level and duplicate that use ref. Now we've got a second one, this one's for blue. So blue is going to look up, okay, where's the relationship from me to somebody else? And go ahead and attach me to somebody else. Remember the P attach, particle from is the parent. So blue's looking up, okay, where's the reference from me to somebody else? Well, it's from me to a green particle. So this reference particle output's going to be the green particle green particle is going to be set as the parent, and the blue particle is going to be attached to that green particle. And let's go ahead and zoom in and just see what we get. You can see that blue right there is following that green. And I think there's a better example a little bit later. Yeah, this one's especially good because the green has kind of a different orbit around that guy. Okay. Okay, so green is referencing the red and attached to him. Blue has referenced the green and is attached to him. And what we're going to do now is we want to say, okay, we want to look in terms of the green and say, okay, who are you referencing and who's referencing you? And go ahead and just delete those two particles at a certain time. And we're going to go ahead and create a new rule for that. We're going to call... Um, ref die and we'll say okay we want to think in terms of green we want to find out who is referencing green and who is green referencing so we're going to use get ref get ref needs to know whose relationships he's looking up he's looking up relationships for green um, so not only the from green so from green to somebody else not just to green not from blue to green but from and to green. So it's going to find this relationship and this relationship, which is going to output the red particle and the blue particle at once out of here. Oops. Now we only want this to happen at a certain time. Uh, so again, we're going to use the age and we're going to grab a condition threshold, feed that age into the threshold, set it to 60. And then what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and have uh, particle die happen. So that reference particle is going to get turned on and when green is 60, whoever is referencing green and whoever green is referencing, those two particles are going to die. It's coming out of that reference particle. So red and the blue are both going to die at that point. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, we see Let's take particular note of this relationship here. And what happens is, when he turns 60, both the red and the blue both die and are gone. And then the green just gets flung in whatever direction he was going before. And this is, here's another good one. 
as it goes forward. Boom. Whoever was referencing green, blue was referencing green, and whoever green was referencing was the red. Both of those two particles, red and blue, are both going to die. And that again, is, of course, is because in terms of green, we use the get ref to find out, okay, who was he referencing and who was referencing him, and output those two particles, and we can do something to them, whether it's particle die or have them change size or whatever. Okay, so this has just been kind of a follow-up, taking a look at the from and to of a get ref.